Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to the 1997 American psychological drama film called Goodwill Hunting. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As the movie opens, we see Will in his room reading books. His friend Chucky comes to call for him. Professor Gerald Lambeau is finishing a lecture at MIT and informs his class that he has posted a problem on the board outside the hall. Whoever solves it will get their name in the MIT Tech Newsletter. Will is the janitor and is mopping the floor when he sees the math on the board outside. Will decides to leave the bar early after work, much to Chucky's annoyance, and he goes home and works on the problem. He takes the early train to work the next day and writes the solution on the board. Will and Chucky make plans to go to Harvard next week to have fun with some smart kids. Lambeau is approached by some students who ask him who proved the theorem. He goes to look at the board, and sure enough, it is correct, but no one knows who did it. After a baseball game, Will gets into a fight with a guy that used to bully him in kindergarten. The police arrive to break it up, but Will accidentally hits one of them. During his lecture, Lambeau asks who proved the theorem, but no one comes forward. He sets another problem which he tells the students took two years to solve and invites them to try to solve it. Lambeau later catches Will writing on the board. He accuses Will of messing with someone's work, but after he is gone, Lambeau realizes that he was actually solving the given problem. Later, Will tells his friends that he was fired. They go into a Harvard bar and Chucky tries to hit on a girl named Skyler. A guy named Clark tries to humiliate Chucky, but before a fight breaks out, Will intervenes and Clark is, in turn, humiliated by Will's superior knowledge. The crowd disperses and after 45 minutes, Skylar approaches Will and calls him an idiot. She has been waiting for him to come and speak to her. She gives him her number and suggests they get a coffee sometime. Will sees Clark and shows him that he got Skylar's number. Lambeau makes inquiries about Will and finds that he got the janitor job through his parole officer. Lambeau attends Will's arraignment hearing and hears Will speaking in his own defense. The judge notes that he has talked his way out of other offenses but as he hit a cop, this time the motion will not be dismissed. Lambeau comes to see him in jail and tells him that the judge has agreed to release him under his supervision. There are two conditions. He must meet with him every week to study some advanced mathematics and he must see a therapist. The math classes seem to go well, but Will manages to offend every therapist that he sees. Finally, Lambeau arranges for him to meet Dr. Sean McGuire, who used to be his roommate in college. They start by discussing books and art. Will discovers that he no longer has a wife and suggests that maybe he married the wrong woman and asks if she left him for another man. Sean grabs him by the throat and warns him never to disrespect his wife again. Will walks out and Lambeau returns to see Sean. He says that he understands if he doesn't want to see him again, but Sean says that he will. Later at home, Sean is pondering with a glass of whiskey. Skylar and Will go on a date together and share a kiss during dinner. Will arrives for his next therapy session and Sean takes him to the park. Sean says that he thought long and hard about what he said during their last session. Then he tells Will that he is just a kid. He has read books but never had any personal experience. Sean tells him that his wife died of cancer. He calls Will a genius and tells him that he wants to learn about him. Only Will is terrified of letting anyone in. During their next session, Sean and Will spend most of the time sitting in silence. Sean is waiting for him to open up and speak. At the next session, Sean nearly falls asleep and then Will starts speaking. He tells him that he went on a date last week and really liked her, but hasn't called her back yet. Sean calls him an amateur and the only way he'll find out about Skylar is by giving it a shot. Will asks if he ever considers remarrying and Sean simply replies no. Will later goes to meet Skylar. She is in her room singing and asks him why he didn't call. He apologizes and asks if he can take her out again. She tells him that she is busy right now as she has to solve a formula. He quickly solves it for her and tells her that he can't wait. They then go on a date. At his next session, Will asks if Sean regrets meeting his wife because of the pain he feels now. He tells Will that he doesn't regret a moment of the last 20 years since he met her. Will is stunned by this statement. Will agrees to bring Skylar out to go drinking with his friends, and they all get on well. She is disappointed not to go to his place or meet his family, but he promises another time. 
Sean meets with Lambeau in a bar and they discuss Will's progress. Lambeau asks if they've discussed his future yet as Will is receiving job offers. Will needs some kind of direction if he is going to be able to contribute to the world. Sean thinks that this sounds more like manipulation and they should give him time to figure out what he wants. Lambeau reveals that it is too late as Will is already attending an interview for a job. However, Will has actually sent Chucky in his place. Will is with Skylar as she studies. She asks if he has a photographic memory. He says he doesn't know. She wants to understand how his mind works. He compares his situation to playing a piano. Beethoven and Mozart could just look at a piano and play. He just looks at these scientific and mathematical problems and just understands. She says it's not fair that she has just found him after being there for four years. The next morning, Skylar asks him to go to California with her. He panics and tells her that he can't go because he has a job here. She tells him that if he doesn't love her, then he should just say it. Skylar reveals that she inherited her money from her father, who died when she was only 13. She tells him that she would return the money in order to spend one more day with her father. Will seems distant and says that he doesn't love her and walks out, leaving her crying. Later, Lambeau and Will discuss a mathematical formula. Will assures him that he is correct. Lambeau becomes angry when he hears that Will didn't attend the meeting that he organized. Will responds by saying that all this work is easy for him and he is frustrated watching them fumbling around with the data. Will sets his solution alight and Lambeau hurriedly puts it out. He says that he regrets meeting Will because then he would be able to sleep at night without the knowledge that there is someone out there like him and he wouldn't have to watch him throw it all away. Several days later, Will goes to meet someone from the National Security Agency. They try to convince him that he would be interested in a job there, but he argues that if he cracks a code and that enables the government to bomb a civilian village somewhere in the Middle East, then that would be his responsibility. He explains this to Sean, who asks if he feels alone. Will replies he has soulmates and reels off the names of scientists and philosophers. Sean tells him that he can't speak with them, but assures him that he can do anything he wants. Will replies that he didn't ask for this, but Sean calls that a cop-out excuse. Sean asks why he chooses to take a 40-minute commute to be a janitor at a prestigious technical college, then finishes other people's formulas that maybe only two other people in the world can do, and then lies about it. Sean asks him what he wants to do, and Will gives him a glib response. Sean has had enough and tells Will to leave as he has an answer for everything except that question. Afterwards, Will calls Skylar and tells her that he is having all these interviews, so she won't have to worry about him being a construction worker. She replies that it was never a problem anyway and tells him that she loves him. He doesn't say it back and soon afterwards she catches her flight to California. Lambeau arrives at Sean's office and when he finds that Will isn't there, he tells Sean that if he files a report saying he isn't there, then he'll go to jail. When Chucky asks about Skylar, Will tells him that she's left for med school. Chucky appears disappointed and tells Will that he hopes that one day he will drive up to his house and find that Will is not there because he has gone to do something with his life. Lambeau is angry that Sean is undermining him. Sean explains that Will has trust issues since he was abandoned by his parents. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. Lambeau is angry that Sean is trying to convince Will that it's okay to be a failure. He believes that Sean is jealous because of Lambeau's achievements, but he mustn't let Will feel like it's okay to be a failure. Sean says that he is proud of his own achievements, but suddenly Will walks in on the argument and Lambeau leaves. Sean studies Will's evaluation file and notices he was abused by his foster father. Sean sympathizes as he was also abused as a child. Will tells Sean that he broke up with Skylar and Sean tells him that all the stuff in the file is not his fault. He keeps telling him until Will starts to cry. They hug as he breaks down and apologizes to Sean. Will decides to take one of the jobs that Lambeau arranged. Sean asks him later if that's what he wants and Will says that he thinks so. As their last session draws to a close, Will asks to stay in touch. They hug and Sean wishes him luck. Will meets the guys at the bar to celebrate his birthday and they present him with the car so that he can commute easily. Lambeau goes to meet Sean who tells him that he is going to travel and write. While Sean packs, Will leaves a note in his mailbox. 
Chucky goes to Will's house but finds that he isn't there. He goes back to the car to tell his friends and they are all happy for him. Sean reads the note. It says that he has gone to see a girl. He's heading to California to give it a chance with Skylar. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.